Work-life balance in Japan is really important. It's probably not fully recognized at the moment. And I think one of the things that Japan struggles with is understanding that people's work-life balance needs change through their life. But I do have to say that in a lot of uh, you know, occasions that when I had to go to the industry events or the other company meetings, I found that I was the only woman in that whole audience. So I think there is still a lot more work to do. But I think, uh, you know, as we discussed before, like Abe and the, um, what the government is trying to do, I think there is a lot of hope in the future. I think women should look for the things that they do the best and really invest and develop it further because a lot of women who I met in Japan, they have talents, they're hidden and they don't put it out so everybody can see and understand what they could do and add more value. So by doing that, increasing their visibility and also growing the company. There are a number of, there are a number of cultural aspects that work in the contrast of what we want to do with promoting women. So I think the biggest answer is about creating possibilities. About, about every aspect of the discussion being, have you considered working from home? Could you hotel work? Uh, what kind of flexible hours can we employ? And you just look at every one of the issues or situations and you get creative around all the different aspects. So instead of looking at you know how many blockers are there, it's how, how many ideas can we get uh, to work around those blockers and create an opportunity to really promote women and have them succeed as aggressively and as far as they'd like in their career. The cultural um, gap is that there's no incentive really to succeed or uh, look upwards. Uh, it, there's so much hard work involved uh, in terms of envy from other people, caring about uh, well, taking all the work, uh, also caring socially, the status, um, and it's so much easier not to look for uh, career pro progression. So I think there's simply lack of um, incentive to build career here in Japan. One example is that uh, I'm so used to uh, lady first culture, but in Japanese company there's no lady first culture, the men first. So there's a lot of shocking things happen. So based on those things, experience, it's very hard to like, show uh, my ability, but it's important for the next generation that I keep working on and challenging and to overcome those uh, you know, barriers. Um, I think it's really about believing in themselves and um, believing what they can do and achieve. I think this is the most important element, especially in the Japanese society. And um, I think this is really what we're, they would need to kind of like conquer all the challenges they have 